Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another intro for the Roulette Pan Collab. So if you're interested in seeing that video, then just keep on watching. So I am so excited to be doing this video. I actually started my YouTube channel in 2019 in January to participate in this channel. I had been doing it on Instagram. So this one is a special one to me. This one was set up by Alexi and Rebecca Morgan and I'll have them linked either up here or down here or both. There is a list of prompts. There was a list of 50 prompts and then we kind of graduated if we wanted and then we're onto 100 prompts. So I hadn't quite finished the last list, so I've amalgamated them today. So my numbers won't be the same. I will link the playlist once we have it down below and the spreadsheet if I can for you guys. So I'm just gonna randomly select some categories and we're gonna find some products that correlate to them. I'm doing so many projects and panning so many products that I don't know what I'm doing, but still I want to do it. So I am using the Pretty Random app and I'm just gonna shake it. I have it set to one to 106. I'm gonna roll them all first and then I'm gonna go check. So let's go. Screen has gone black. So we've got number 29. Number 56. Number 83. Number 98, is it? Number 96, is it? And one more. Number 86. God, these are all high numbers. Right, I'm just going to get my laptop and see what they are. So category number 29 for me is a product you lusted after for a long time. Hmm. Next one, it was category number 56 for me, which is a Franken product. A product mixed with another to make it work, either color-wise or lasting power, etc. I'm gonna check and see do I still have, because I think I've used up most of them, but I'll, I'll check for that one. Category number 83 for me is your most expensive lip product. That's so interesting. Hmm. Category number 98 is kind of an easy enough one and it's a matte product, so fair enough. Category number 96 is it's a product you aren't sure if you like. Oh. And then finally for me, I got category number 86, which is a product that deserves more hype. I can remember now how hard this is. <laughs> so these are actually the categories I have left if I haven't actually mentioned. So I'm gonna go and have a look for what that is and I'll be right back to show you what I chose and their goals. Okay guys, I have my products and I have written everything down and my goals here in a notebook. So if I'm looking down, forgive me, that's what I'm doing. I now remember why this is so exciting and terrifying. So I'm just gonna get my first one for you. So for a product I lusted after for a long time, it is the Hourglass face palette. Not this particular one, just Hourglass in general. I wanted to try them for so long, well, pretty much as long as I've been watching YouTube because I'd never heard of them before that. My goal is to use this palette 15 times. You have seen before, I imagine me kind of giving out about the size of these pans. <laughs> But anyway, I want to use this 15 times. It doesn't matter which shade. I am panning a lot of things at the moment, so I think 15 times is perfectly reasonable things that I should be able to achieve. So that is the first one. For a Franken product, I actually only have one item in my collection at the moment. I played with the idea of re-rolling with you guys, but since I do have one product, I said I'd show it to you and the reason why I wanted to re-roll is because this is the, in another project and it is in my team project pan and it's my blush. There's a load of crumbly pieces there as well. Now I know you're like that, you'll finish that really quickly, but this seems to be taking me absolutely months. This is a Makeup Revolution pressed blush that I had repressed into here. Um, so then it just crumbled again and it seems to apply better as crumbles and I have not been wasting product. I dip the excess back off in here. Um, this is the only product I have, so I'm gonna try and finish it. I know you might be thinking, gosh, that's easy, but for me, I only need a tiny bit of blush to do my, so I'm gonna try and finish this. This is a kind of um, a sheeny blush. It's with a coral undertone, but it's not, it doesn't have a heavy base pigment of coral. So I have been pairing it on top of other blushes to give it a glow today, for instance. So this one is handy for me, but 
that's what it shows. <laughs> for your most expensive lip product, I thought, okay, the Fenty Gloss, but then I Googled that and that actually, I checked my spreadsheet and I paid 18 euro. Then I was like, okay, the MAC lipstick was 20 something euros. But my most expensive lip product was in this project once upon a time before, and it is my only Lime Crime lip product. And this is in Airborne Unicorn. I don't know why I'm trying to show you that, but I really love the packaging of this. And I actually love the formula. Well, I haven't used it in a while, but my when I did use it, I loved the formula because it didn't come off very easily. Here it is here. It's such a lovely, like I'd be sad when I use this, but this cost me. So I wanted Lime Crime for years and years and years before I had YouTube, before I had Instagram. And I remember they didn't ship. This is before all of the drama. They didn't ship to Ireland because I emailed them. I set up an email to email them because I, d I only had like a, a child one before and I eventually when this did ship paid and it, I think it cost me nearly I ordered two Lime Prime products this and the Salem liquid lip and it cost me an absolute fortune I think it was like 50 quid for this but I had been going on about it for years so I'm gonna try and finish it I don't mind if I don't I am panning like five lip products I think maybe six but since there's not that much left I'm gonna give it a go we are wearing masks at the moment. I don't know how realistic that is, but it is great to get some use out of it again. I'll do a little swatch. Like I would get their lipsticks again because I did, I do like it. And I know your, that girl isn't working there anymore, apparently. I really enjoy the formula of this. It didn't migrate around my face and it did last a really long time. And I really like the packaging. If anyone has a video or knows anyone that did a video, how they depot lipsticks into other lipsticks, can you, can you let me know? Because I would like to reuse this bullet once it's gone. So I'm going to do the next two categories together because they kind of go together. So the next one is a matte product and a product you aren't sure if you like. And that are, these are these products. They're matte liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna use like one for matte. They're matte liquid lipsticks and I love these particular shades, but I would wear these two colors together. I'd probably do that all over the lip and this in the middle. And I didn't want to really do one without the other. And I'm not sure how I feel about these because I haven't used them in so long. So I want to use them both 10 times each to make that decision. And I think that's really handy because I kept looking in my drawer, seeing them, but not putting them on because I'm panning so many lip products. I was like, I'll get there. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. So now this is me getting to it. <laughs> so this lighter shade, the NYX Lingerie, uh, 0 0.13 fluid ounces or four mils in the shade Satin Ribbon. That's the lighter one. And the more deeper cool tone one is, it's in Honeymoon. So I'll just do a little bit of a swatch for you and see how you, well, oh, like it look, they're shades that I, I normally wear. You know, so I can't see myself not liking them, but the, the thing for me is I don't know do I like them. That's them there on my arm. They look really similar to the Tarte one I was panning, doesn't it? Let me go check, get swipes the Tarte one. This is a Tarte one I've been panning all year that's not accessible to me and I always purchase. Are they the same to you? Am I losing my mind? Is that like that darker? So I'm gonna use each of these 10 times and I think that's fairly achievable, please God. I just counted and I'm panning eight lip products. For a product that deserves more hype, I chose this foundation from Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up. It's 35 mils or 1.18 US fluid ounce. And this is my darker shade. It's in the shade 76. And it would normally be too dark for me unless I'm tanned to the nines. However, I do mix it in with every other foundation that's too light. This, this is my only, I have two deep foundations, like the deeper one out of the two colors that I like to get. This one and a relatively new one that I have not tried yet. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna wanna finish this. However, we are heading into even cooler months, so I don't know. But, you know, I've been using it anyway, so what harm? I actually think Inglot is great. I love Inglot. I think their pigments are amazing. I think they do deserve more hype than I see them getting. This foundation in particular is not quite full on matte. It's like a satin matte or a comfort matte. Would you say it's just satin? I'd say it's satin. It is a fuller coverage foundation, but not full, not quite medium, but it's just comfortable. It's just so nice. I will repurchase this when it's gone. I don't have many foundations in my collection right now. Um, so when this is gone, I'm gonna to need to repurchase because I don't own a deeper foundation with this level 
of coverage. I only have one other and that is a lighter coverage. So I'm gonna try and finish it. And I do recommend this brand if you have not already tried it. Thank you so much to Rebecca and Alexi for this product project. I hope Alexi, you have settled into your move. Congratulations on that. And I cannot wait to watch the onslaught of intros that there will be. Thank you so much and I will see you the next time. Take care, bye. Thank you.